All right, now we're gonna talk about subtracting integers. So again, integers are just our positive and negative whole numbers and zeros. So you can see we have an integer line. This number line right here is showing me all sorts of integers. Now these go on forever and ever. So it keeps counting up from positive 20 and it keeps counting down from negative 20. But we're gonna look at how we can use some tools to help us with subtracting. So we are gonna start um, by looking at four minus three. Now this should be really familiar as just a regular subtraction problem that you've seen for a while. Four minus three. So if we're gonna use a number line to help us with this one, we have to look at that first number. That first number tells us where we're starting on the number line. We're starting at four. Now, if we're subtracting three, it doesn't say negative three, it just says minus three. We're going to go backwards three. One, two, three, and we land at positive one. Okay, we've done all sorts of problems with subtraction, simple ones like this. We can also use our tool here. Let me get rid of those. We can use our tool here. We have four positives, one, two, three, four. And now it says to take away three. So I can take away three of my positives and I'm left with one positive. Now that is just like what we did here. So now let's think about negative four minus three negative four minus three. Again, that first number tells us where we're going to start, negative four. Now again, just like the first one, we're subtracting three. So we're gonna go backwards, one, two, three. And this time we're landing at negative seven. We're getting smaller by three. So, we can show that again on our one over here. So if we are starting with negative four, one, two, three, four. Now this time it said to take away three. Now when it's saying take away three, it means take away three positives. But when I look here, I don't actually see three positives. So I have to add zero pairs until I do, okay? Until I have three positives that I can take away. So what I mean by that is if I look at this, I just added a zero pair on the left here, but we know that a positive and a negative actually make zero. So I actually haven't changed what I have here because this is on the left zero and on the right is negative four and zero plus negative four is still just negative four. So I haven't changed anything. So I'm gonna add another zero pair. This is again, still negative four because I'm adding zero. And then I've got another zero pair. One, two, three zero pairs and four negatives is still negative four. I haven't changed the value here, but now I actually have three negatives that I can take away. Sorry, three positives that I can take away because remember, it was negative four minus positive three. So I can take away these three positives and I'm now left with four, four negatives and three negatives and together we have seven negatives. So that matches what we did on our number line over here. Now, let's think about subtracting negatives. So if I have positive four and I need to subtract negative three. Okay, so another thing that we can think about when we are working with negatives is that this negative sign can mean the opposite. This can mean the opposite. 
So what I mean by that is if we see 1 and then we see negative 1, we can say this is 1 and we can say this is the opposite of 1. The opposite of 1 is negative 1. So it has a few different meanings. So when I'm looking up at this one, 4 minus negative 3. 4 take away 3 negatives. When we're talking about a number line or when we're thinking about a number line, when we see a subtracting a negative, those two right in a row, we're going to actually do the opposite. We're going to go the opposite direction. So if we're starting at 4 and we were going to take away 3, but then it says take away negative 3, we have to go the opposite way. So we're actually getting bigger and going to positive 7. So let's take a look at what that looks like with the integer chips. I'm going to clear all those. Okay, so we had four positives. One, two, three, four. And now it wants us to take away negatives. But if you see, I only have positive tiles. So I have to add zero pairs again. Add zero. Can I use that? There we go. I'm going to add zero pairs until I have three negatives to take away. Now again, if we look here, I'm going to move these down. Those zero pairs at the bottom, the positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, those all make zero. So I still have positive four. I haven't changed my problem, but now I have three negatives to take away. So I'm going to take those away. One, two, three. And I'm left with seven total positives. I had four and now I have three more now that I took away those three negatives. So that leaves us with positive seven, which was exactly what we got. Now we're going to do the same thing, but this time we have negative four minus negative three. So four negatives take away three negatives. So we're starting at negative four. Now we're subtracting, so we're getting smaller, but it's a negative, so we actually are going the opposite direction. We're getting bigger. One, two, three, and we land at negative one. So let's look at what that looks like with our integer chips. All right, okay. get rid of all those. So if we have four negatives, one, two, three, four. Now it's asking us to take away three negatives. And look at I have negatives that I get to take away. So I can just do that. I'm going to take those away, took away three negatives. I am left with one negative. So my answer is negative one. And that is exactly what we got when we were looking at the number line. So a few things to think about. We're going to look specifically at these ones first. If we have subtracting positive minus three, minus three. Our answers went from four to one, so it got smaller, and negative four to negative seven, so that one got smaller. So the rule for subtraction is when we subtract a positive, the answer gets smaller. When subtracting a positive, the answer gets smaller. And that should be really familiar to you because that's the kind of subtraction that you start out doing. When subtracting a positive, the answer gets smaller. 10 minus nine is one, it got smaller. 100 minus 25 is 75. It went from 100 to 75, we're getting smaller, okay? That's the kind of subtraction that you start doing in first grade, second grade, kindergarten maybe. That should be very familiar. Now, the thing that we've changed up is now subtracting a negative. When we subtract a negative, we went from four to positive seven. That got bigger. When we did the second one, negative four went to negative one. 
that also got bigger. So when we're going this direction, we're getting bigger. That direction, we're getting smaller. So this one, when subtracting a negative, the answer gets bigger. When subtracting a negative, the answer gets bigger. Now, these rules are actually the opposite of what we see with addition. So when you add a positive, it gets bigger. When you add a negative, it gets smaller. When subtracting, it's the opposite. So if you look at these ones, these ones are always the ones that get kids a little bit tripped up. So when you see subtracting a negative, if it helps you, you can think about it as not subtracting a negative, but actually adding a positive. So we can change this from four minus negative three to four plus positive three. You get the same answer. Four plus positive three is positive seven. Four minus negative three is also positive seven. So you're actually kind of doing the opposite. I can do it here too. Negative four, change subtraction to addition and change negative three to positive three. And I get negative four plus three, which is also negative one. So you can feel free to change it. The rule that I like to write is um, subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. Subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So if it helps you to rewrite those, you should do that because you'll get the same answer. Those are the rules that you should remember when you are subtracting integers. You can use a number line, you can use those integer chips, you can rewrite those in whatever way helps you the best.